It's a wrong road where we commit the best It could be nice like a flower Our life is best I love my family Every day a child is born Being healthy Even if it's your child to stop It's my duty Life is a finger beauty Family honour makes me no stronger The Lord above makes my life last longer Life, family, God, honour I had a dream I'd never written poetry before, um, so this project gave me the chance to try poetry and I actually got really good feedback from that. The most memorable performance was in Manchester when we did The Truth About Youth. I like it because I like to do the rehearsal and I like to meet like, new artists and friend, new friends and stuff like that. With, like, Just been on the stage with Carla and did a performance with the Carl Bang and it was just a gig. Yeah, it was nice. Amazing was to uh, get the opportunity to be on stage with the band Cal and enjoy the time. It was a time. bit terrifying. If, if we get another chance at this, hopefully we can be even better and improve or... Well, I think the arts are really important for Kamashit because um, people are doing stuff and we're learning how to do like dance, rapping, beatbox, playing on instruments. Some of the boys as well, they never would have tried dancing, but they really enjoyed themselves and acting. I like the club because we, we're getting like more skills. So I become like confident in more things and guitar and English as well. Uh, this idea about uh, improving Romani identity for the Romani and non-Romani people in UK via music, this is the most important because uh, music is the most important product of uh, um, of, uh, of uh, Romani nation uh, and it would be uh, uh, not such uh, good if we are not using it. Arts and music are a big part of the Roma heritage. It plays a vital role in engaging with the young people. Young people love expressing themselves through music and dance. The demand for, for that work and the project has rapidly increased and that's because obviously we've had more of an influx of migrant young people, specifically within the Lee area. Unbeknownst to me, till I started working with Kamoshi three, four years ago, um, th there's such a rich cultural heritage and, and, and it is absolutely uplifting when, for example, you see you know, a young woman of 13 or 14 or 15 dancing as, as her family have danced for, for generations. Um, or, or you see a young woman reciting a poem in her own language about her background. It's absolutely uplifting. Everyone understands the arts. Um, it's, it, it creates feelings, thoughts, emotions. The voice and engagement team are all about engaging young people and those young people having a voice. I think without the arts, it would be a lot more difficult than if we're helping each other and, the, and, and young people and families are helping and support each other, then that's got to be a, a benefit to the wider community. The value to that community is incredible, but the arts are a universal language that whilst one might not understand you know, some of the language, the, the, the power of, of, of that is, is phenomenal. And we've seen in Lee the benefits that that does. I've seen 75-year-old women tap in the feet to you know, to rap by, by you know, a young 14-year-old um, lad from the Czech Republic, for example. So, so, absolutely. Well, I've only been involved in one this year, and I liked it because it was well organised, and the people was get, get invo involved with us. I built up more confidence by dancing in front of loads of people. Yeah, that was the first time that I actually performed in front of people. It's really given us a chance to come out of our shells and experience new things because at this age I can say that I've written poems, I've done, I've written my own song, I've choreographed my own piece and I've performed them all in front of a live audience. All the things I've been doing in this project, I think it's really amazing, it's real good uh, because it's just, it's just exciting, all the rapping and dancing and everything. The project has benefited young people immensely. First of all, it's helped them with their language and culture. 
it's improved their English language. It's also helped them to adjust to a new culture and new community. Uh, it's helped them in school, as now a young person who has attended the group is part of the school radio station. Another young person who's grown up through the group has become a mentor and is working in a local school now, supporting other Roma young people. Last year I was a volunteer um, and I worked with them on a project um, for Roma Week. Um, I was able to write a poem with them and perform with them as well. I helped in the junior club in junior club in Saturday morning and sometimes in Wednesday I was coaching the table tennis. The thing I enjoyed the most about that um, project was being able to work with young people of various ages because um, as opposed to Rafiki we were all fairly older teens but in Kamosi they range from 11 and upwards. Um, yeah I've been a volunteer um, helping, helping out other members and and setting, a, setting up equipment and that. We've seen a huge change in some of the young people's behaviour. We've seen them develop in confidence and skills and we've also seen them become more connected with the wider community as well. I perform in two events. One's called Fusion and second one was Message from Jaco and Lee. Um, the best memorable performance. Um, I think it was one... Uh, when I was did when I was rapping in Manchester, because I uh, I get I get more confident. I liked being part of Kamasia because it builds more confidence to me, and um, I like it because it you meet more people. The main barriers that the young people face is that actually they can feel quite isolated when they come into a new, into never mind a new place, into a new country. And I think one of the main barriers is, is knowing what opportunities are out there and what they can access. And I think that's the same for the families as well. Sometimes, you know, they don't speak uh, English, might not be the first language. And often the young people are interpret interpreting uh, for, the, for the families. My friend is called Panache, he's from Zimbabwe and that's in, in Africa. And I got another friend, he's from Zimbabwe as well, he's called Gift. For so many years when I lived in England, I didn't really meet anyone um, from many places in the world. So this project definitely gave me the chance to interact with various different backgrounds. And I felt more part of the community because I knew more people in the community and it taught me how to interact with um, different people. And I learned a lot about backgrounds as well, like about the Roma background and about um, some of the things that go on in Congo, because I met a lot of people from Congo. Um, languages, I was able to practice my French. But when we have a girls group, we go to mix with other groups, like with African people, English people. We support any kind of event activity, anything that develops community spirit, that, that um, encourages community engagement, that brings physically brings people together um, and that helps people share experiences. But particularly if that's you know, people from Eastern Europe, people from the Roma community and so on, because there isn't a lot of kind of mainstream uh, provision or activity for, for people from, from those backgrounds. I think that the most important thing is actually to educate themselves. Uh, I think they have to go to school, they have to try to finish some kind of good school, university, that they should try to recognize themselves, to open themselves, to try to recognize their identity because without identity you are zero. Um, if Kamoshi was about to stop, I would feel terrible because I wouldn't go like where I go now and we'd we'll be on streets and get in trouble. If Kamoshi stopped, I probably feel like bored and you know not doing anything at all. Uh, we got the chance to do a performance at the Royal Exchange Theatre in Manchester. That was definitely my favourite because I enjoyed the audience feedback afterwards. Um, it gave me the chance to share the background of my country with um, a lot of people and yeah, the feedback afterwards uh, really helped me. It has affected in a good way in skill because I build up more confidence. One of the skills that I've learned in Kamoshi is dancing with other people, new skills. It helped me with English, you know, more than in school, because I got, I have, I was spoken to you and like to everybody else, so that helped me more than in school. 
uh, if commerce stops, um, I'll feel really, really bad because I won't be able to do like rapping and rapping and, and that. I'm going to, I'm going to some trips and that. We feel it's really important that we can continue to support the young people because it offers positive activities and without the support there won't be many things for young people to do. Uh, first and foremost it's giving young people a voice in the community and it's helping them to settle into a new culture, learn a new language and express themselves and be involved positively as opposed to hanging around on the streets. They may experience more barriers than most young people face, additional barriers, but we're here to help them overcome them. Three words that I would describe Kamoshi are brilliant, sociable and culture. Diverse, lively and stimulating. Friendly, fun and fantastic. Awesome, amazing and just great. Everybody, my fellow gypsies, freedom is around the corner, so let's march the quickly. Sweet passion in our blood like black grapes. We're the first to be great. It's a wrong road where we can make the best It could be nice like a flower Our life is best I love my family Every day a child is born Being healthy Even if it's your child a storm It's my duty Life is a thing of beauty Family, honour makes me more strong